I'm here on Beaver Creek at one of the new kayak ramps, and I'm going to answer the age-old question, are there catfish in Beaver Creek? I'm using Skipjack Gut Pocket, and I'm going to spray it down with Dead Red Blood Spray. My buddy Randy here, he's going to be using liver, and we're going to see who catches the catfish first. Spray it on here. I read on the Catfish King Facebook group that this is great stuff for bullhead catfish. And I've yet to catch any bullhead this entire summer. Although right now we're in the fall. That hook's a one-aught hook, and this is a four-aught hook. I'm being lazy and not changing it out. This is kind of big for the creek. Holy moly, that's a lot of lever. <laughs> got it. Oops. Oh, I got off. This was the big hook. Already had something playing with it. Well, that's a good sign. Got some nibbles, almost had whatever that was. And if uh, it happens again, our downsize that hook. That was the bigger hook. Get a bite on this one. Got him. Bullhead. My first bullhead of the year. And I oh, think, he's about bait size. yeah, he is bait size. A little bit smaller for bait. And I think he swallowed the hook. This is a circle hook. Oh boy. These guys can really fin you. Yes, they can. There are catfish in Beaver Creek. Yellow bullhead. There's the hook. You do me a favor, you want to try to grab that hook. <laughs> a two person job here. Yeah, buddy. my hook back. All right, nice yellow bullhead first thing. Let him go. Off he goes. Time to catch another one. Maybe they're right about this dead red blood spray. That is killer for bullheads. You can see there's like wood in the water here. This is going to be fun if we catch on any of it. While we were waiting on a bite on my rods, something started pecking at Randy's liver. Right now it's one on skipjack and zero on liver unless Randy can catch whatever's pecking at his bait. And here's the star of the show, Cooper. He wants all the attention, don't you? Well, the liver didn't get anything and we're just sitting here waiting on bites. There's uh, almost no clouds in the sky either. And Randy said the creek is barely moving, which can be good when you're talking about bullheads. Just beyond the brush down there is the rock bank that I was catching those sunfish on one of my previous videos. And this tree has fallen over the creek and it's still alive. It landed on this other tree over here and is just continuing to grow. It's kind of cool. And the dog is wandering around, pulling his leash around everywhere. Hopefully we'll get something soon. I'm going to try to find some shade so I can hide from the sun. When the fish stop biting, it's time to explore a little bit. For being so late in the summer, beginning of fall, there's still flowers out. Ow! Ooh, briars. That's nice. Look at those sharp briars. Little red flower right on the edge of the water. Some nice poison ivy. Can't really go too far along the banks here. I guess I'll get back to watching the rods. Hopefully catch another bullhead. <laughs> 
Randy's is empty. So something took all of his liver. Well, we've been here for a little bit, so we're going to move to another spot that Randy has access to on this same creek. See if we can get some bullheads there. He said he's caught big bluegill and creek chubs there, so there should be catfish in the area too. I'm at the second spot now, and this is in the middle of nowhere, but it's the same creek. And this is a bend in the creek, so hopefully it'll produce some more bullheads. Same thing, skipjack with dead red blood spray from Team Catfish. Randy is somewhere around here, and one of his friends, Justin, is with us this time. I'm gonna get this out, see if we can catch some fish. I still haven't downgraded this hook yet. If I miss anything else with it, I will downgrade it. Uh-oh, already hung up. Oh, that's great. Creek fishing at its finest. Well, this gives me an opportunity to downgrade this hook. <laughs> both of my hooks on both rigs will now be one knot mustad circle hooks. I'm snailing it with 15 pound fluorocarbon. I just do the easy snail when I do these. Even though there's fluorocarbon, I still use a polymer knot on the swivel. When you're using fluorocarbon, you have to be careful and make sure this first knot does not tighten. And then put the swivel through the loop and just be gentle when you pull this all together so it doesn't cause a nick in the main line. There we go, almost perfect. I'm just going to use a sinker slide on the main line with a rubber bead to protect the knot and a polymer knot on this side. It's monofilament so you don't have to be as cautious. This is 8 pound monofilament which I have yet to upgrade to 12 or 15. I had a big carp break this 8 pound line so I might as well upgrade it and then go carp fishing again. There you have it, a simple rig. I think this is called a Carolina rig except for we're using the sinker slide. And I like using these round one ounce sinkers. Dead red blood spray and get in the water. Get my tackle back together and wait for another bite. Randy's got his out with liver. And I'm gonna to try to see if I can catch a bluegill with a wax worm. <laughs> what the heck? There we go, the world's smallest fish. That is bait. I think that's a red breast. Randy has a little pond that has a bunch of mosquitoes in it. So he's gonna keep this and put this in his pond. Got something. I might be with a stick. <laughs> no, I think I got a turtle. Yep, yep, got a turtle, snapping turtle. Uh, it's a baby. I don't know how I'm going to get him up. I didn't bring a net. Snapping turtle. You don't have a net, do you? Is there any place we can land them? Let's see what we can do. I walk this way. I try to walk them upstream. I'm gonna take my camera off just in case I take a splash in the drink. He's gonna go back to the water. Got him, got him, got him. All right. <laughs> now if I can get back up. There we go. Now he's free.
That was a team effort. Yeah. See if we can catch a catfish now. Well, we've started to pack up. It's getting later in the evening and we're not getting any bites. This creek goes through urban and rural areas and I think it's just fished out. Either that or all the fish are just not here. They're hiding in a different place. I will still keep trying to fish in Beaver Creek. See if I can find a good bullhead spot. If I can find some really small bullheads, they make great bait for flatheads. But until next time, please give me a like and subscribe and thanks for watching.